Welcome to the Misfit One Lifestyles with Elizabeth Colon. She will awaken and connect with your Misfit One. Are you tired of the ups and downs in your life? Are you ready to live a healthy lifestyle once and for all? We are talking about all aspects of your life. Being fit is not just physical. It's also your mind and soul. Learn how to take steps in your life to move towards your goals. Elizabeth's goal is for everyone listening to the sound of her voice to get fit. Let's get focused, let's get intentional, and let's transform. Now here's your host, Elizabeth Colon. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Miss Fit One Lifestyles with your girl, Elizabeth Colon, also known as Miss Fit One. And listen, before we start today's show, I I I got an amazing guest, but I want to play a game with you. All right, we're going to call it buzzword. Now, in order to win, and it's going to be something great, it's going to be something amazing, but in order to win, you have to know the buzzword and see how many times we say this word. You have to be, uh, follow me on Instagram, you know that, or also on Facebook, which is Elizabeth Colon Health Strategist, and then type in the buzz word for the week. Again, the buzz word is the word you want to listen for. I guess today is the one and only Angel Johnson. So she is so special. She talk about hair. She is the hair queen. So the buzz word is going to be So every time we say bomb hair, take your pencil and write it down how many times, and then you get a prize, okay? So listen, my guy is so good. My God is so good because I was just talking about hair yesterday, and my guest today is not only the hair specialist, she specializes in natural textured um restoration of hair and everything welcome miss angel how you doing girl thank you thank you so much i am wonderful wonderful happy to be here i'm so happy to have you because you know what's so important about you is that our culture when i say our culture you know i'm talking about women of color or anybody that don't have that straight, silky hair like you got right now in this bomb <laughs> hair, baby. That girl got that Thank bomb you. hair. Oh, <laughs> it is keep gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> but here's the thing. In our culture, it is so difficult to maintain that silky, beautiful hair and keep it healthy. Yes, it can is you, a challenge. Can you can you help us out with that? Oh, is it even possible? First of all, is it possible? It is. It is possible. It is possible. It just takes commitment and a, and a little bit of currency. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, let's just be real with it. You know, I I would normally wear my hair straight. Personally, um, it is not relaxed. So I have my natural curl pattern to my hair, but I do have color. So I am not totally 100% natural. Right. It is possible with maintaining it in a, by a professional or getting some education from a professional on how to do, you know, your correct home maintenance. This hair right now needs a lot of uh, moisture and hydration. Moisture and hydration. Okay, so you just brought up a, a great point that you said that your hair is um, natural curl pattern, but it's not natural because it has um, color, right? Yes. It's treated. So can you talk to us about natural hair? What is the definition okay. of natural hair? Because I've heard people say natural hair and they had on wigs. Like I could see the, the I'm like, what's, what's natural hair? <laughs> what's natural about that? Yeah, um, natural hair is virgin hair. You have your 
natural pattern, which can be manipulated in many types of ways of by styling it. So that's not the part that determines that's not natural. Because you can roll it up, you can straighten it, you can right. braid it, you can do all kinds of things. But natural hair in itself in its true form is hair in its true form, not being chemically altered. So a lot of times when when the phenomenon came about about two years ago when everybody started getting back into being natural, they would say they're natural, but they had blonde hair. And I'm like, not natural. You <laughs> can relax the free. So relax the free is how I describe it. the majority of the time. I still that's what I say. You're relaxed or free. Meaning you don't have a chemical to straighten your hair. You have a somewhat of a natural curl pattern. Ah, uh, I mm -hmm. get it because that is very true. I have seen that too. It's my natural hair, but uh, your natural <laughs> hair is purple. Like, I yeah. don't get that. So now instead of saying our natural hair, we say relaxed free. Yeah, relax or free. Mm -hmm. Relax or free. There you go. My hair is definitely relax a free <laughs> because I got these locks mm -hmm. but I do have color right right okay so, see I learned that yeah. that's new to me you know your hair you have color um speak color pretty much me chef down unless you, you touch it so you know the formation of having the locks is your curl pattern manipulated into the lock form, right? So you are, in a sense, still natural, not having that because the, the color is color. not altering your curl pattern because you have locks. Color can alter the curl pattern, it can loosen it. So some people with blonde hair, normally with high lift color, high lift colors, um, those playful colors, you have to lighten the hair first. So there's a double process on the hair. So that's extra, extra chemical processing <laughs> versus just, oh, I just want to cover my grays because you can use a temporary color for that okay. where it's not actually altering the curl pattern of the hair. Okay. So listen, we all want, because I, I definitely want bomb hair. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and that could be in any form it is. Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure my hair is, um, I, again, I, I'm learning so much already because I always say I, this is my natural hair. But it is like from the mid on, I need to cover these grays, but, you know, <laughs> I'm too scared. I don't, I don't like it all the way up there. But when people come in to you because you help them with their texture, like you just said, that color. So, so here's the question. I could be relaxer free, but I can use color to kind of relax my curl pattern. Some of, it would be for the purpose of relaxing your curl pattern. It would be for the purpose of coloring your hair. However, one of the physical changes to the hair can be your hair, your curl pattern relaxing some because of oh. the chemical change in the hair. And that's also where the, sometimes the damage come in, right? When they say. Yes. Yes. Normally with, I'm going to use the word bleaching. That's what the, the layman, layman term of it is, but it's lightening the hair or decolorizing the hair or lifting the hair, you, you have to use that uh, chemical, that product in order to get you there. And that product itself is more aggressive and that's what loosens the curl pattern. But people won't buy them hair, so they gotta do what they gotta do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, like you said, it takes uh, commitment and currency. Oh. The two yes. C's, the two C's. And that's yes. true because um, 
when we go to that natural state, right? When you, like you said, a couple of years ago, it became, which is true. It became so crazy. Like I've had my hair in its natural state forever. Like I did a perm one time relaxer when I was like 20 and um, the whole top of my hair fell out. Like I had a whole ball spot. So that was the last time. I ever yeah. put anything. <laughs> <laughs> that was not bomb bomb hair. Hair. <laughs> that, that was just a bomb. <laughs> like, oh, it blew up. That. So then I was scared to do anything to my hair. Like I didn't color it. I didn't. I was like, nope, when this grow back, this is all that's going to take. But then mm -hmm. when this whole natural thing kicked in and I was like I think I'm natural like I've been natural this whole time but I knew how to manipulate my my curl pattern right like I would do braids back and take it out and be wavy you know you know all the tricks yeah. that we do as air quotes natural <laughs> to mm -hmm. manipulate our curls but when I found out that you know relaxer versus natural is a big cost difference for me. And can you talk about the difference in being relaxed versus, versus natural and the kind of the cost differentiation? Well, there is. you have to, okay. There, there, there is, but you have to look at a relaxer as a treatment, right? So I'm getting a treatment to make my hair manageable in, in a straighter form. Not bone straight. Bone straight means your hair is compromised. I'll use that word. So compromised in the sense that it's overprocessed. You know, so hair, you still want, even though you're relaxed, you still want it to have some texture to it so that it can still do different styles. And once it's bone straight, that's really all it can do. It won't hold curls or anything. So pulse wise, you get the treatment, which may run you between six, depending on your demographic, $60 and $150, right? You get that treatment and then you still go into the salon and get hair styling services, all right? You still get conditioning treatments. You still get hot oil types of hair styling. Yeah. <laughs> because you still have to treat the hair and scalp. Mm -hmm. The hair itself is just relaxed then as far as natural hair sometimes the cost can range from 60 to 150 depending on the hairstyle that you get and there's still also treatments to make hair, natural hair manageable that don't necessarily have a chemical rearranger that make it permanent so there are amino acid treatments they're really just like really deep conditioning keratin type treatments to make natural hair manageable so it doesn't frizz, it doesn't puff up, and you're able to go from natural curly state to blowing it out if you wanted to and wear it straight, flat ironing it and whatnot. So it's just giving you those options. Right. But, and then, so they, they are about the same, but with the, what I found with my natural hair, I can manipulate it more at home, but what catches me is that products you got to buy, like, I got to try this product, I got to try that, I got to, girl, I have so many products <laughs> under my sink before I locked it, I was able to just throw that stuff away, because that ended up costing, because you keep trying to find the right combination for your hair. Right. versus just going to the salon every week or every two weeks so that was one of the things that I really noticed you know cost wise right that's that is your biggest cost and that's where the product junkie name came about because everyone has been trying different things um everybody's coming out with their own products you get people making products in the kitchen but they're blowing up and, they, and, they're, and they're being on the shelves in our retail stores, which is wonderful that people are having the opportunity to 
you know, serve a need, but but it's time, not necessarily your need. <laughs> right. Right. You have to figure out how you want to maintain your hair. Um, like I said, the best thing is to get some education from a stylist and then maybe purchase your products from the stylist or, or whomever or whatever they recommend and then go from there. It's easier to work with a line of products. It's maybe more of a professional line of product or an entire line of products and to remove something from there that doesn't work versus using XYZ, ABC, ITDs, you know what I mean? So, YouTube it up. Don't know. Yes. Yeah. University. A lot of people <laughs> they graduate from there. So yes, yes, yes. But if you want some bomb hair, I think you should just go ahead and get into the salon. <laughs> At least get in there uh, on a routine basis of maybe every quarter. Get your hair good conditioning, trim, moisturizing, hydration type treatments, and then service yourself at home. I love that because that's what I do. I'm a quarter girl. Like I go every quarter <laughs> <laughs> so that I can keep up that bum hair, right? Yeah. And then right. make sure that, you know, it's healthy in between. But how do we con stay, you know, get connected with you, darling? Well, you can find me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I am... On, at call on an angel on Instagram. Say it again. Yeah. <laughs> call on an angel. On that is adorable. I love you. that. <laughs> now, listen, she's not just talking, just talking. Like she is bona fide. She has over 20 years of experience. She worked at a Vita institution and design essentials. Like this woman knows her stuff. She's been on sets. She's been on photo shoots. She's been in fashion shop from Miami. To... Listen, <laughs> if you want to get your hair right, this is, you know, I always talk about our, our well being and our health. Our hair is part of that, part of that. Am I right, Angel? Yes, yes. It's a, it's a, a big moment for you to figure out, embrace your natural beauty. Um, and that's what I really push people embracing their natural beauty. I know sometimes you have to go outside of what you have. You know, you have to have some addition or, or enhancements to make yourself feel amazing but first accept what you have and try to treat that because when you start always covering it up you can lose it or misuse it abuse it you know so with that um me being on instagram i'm also a big advocate for education of course and just to let you know i'll be down at essence fest and we're doing textured consultations and little mini updos or whatever hairstyling but there's also to, some things to meet your mind body and soul along with that so we are working with Aveda at the Paris Parker Salon which is a few blocks away from this the uh convention center super dope whatever they call it now. right 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 yeah and uh and that's that's great it's all for black women hair and how to, how to treat it from a mind, body, and soul perspective. I love that because I think you, you hit on a very valid point. Um, you know, when you, when you have your own hair, like when I lost all my, like that top of my hair was bald, I never, I never paid attention. And I've always had very long hair and very, you know, just, I, you know, I thought I was the shiz Nick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> until that stuff fell off. Like I never really paid attention to it until it was gone. Right. Yeah. And then I started paying attention to it. But before I had to wear like a, like them quick weave things, they put on like a cap so mm -hmm. it can grow back out. And I'm going to be honest, 100%. Like I 
fell crazy in love with that that cap because that cap was always good. I never had to really mess with it a lot. I didn't manipulate it a lot. And then when I went, when my hair grew out enough for me to start wearing it again, I was really hating on my hair. Like, mm -hmm. have you have you seen that? Like, I had to really shift my mindset to like, this is who I am. This is how your hair grows. So stop poo-pooing on yes. yourself. So I love right. that you said that. Have you found that to be um, things that happen when people have extensions, then they come to their hair and they realize, wait a minute. Right. That, yes. You, that people don't realize that they could really have some um, hair if they took care of it right so they are covering it up they they're they they have long, like you said you have long hair but they get a weave and I'm honest, people are like why do you do this and they're like oh because I don't have to fool with my hair but at the same time your hair is being neglected people don't understand that you're not getting your scalp clean you're not getting your hair moisturized or hydrated and those are two big words for us in the tech community, moisturization and hydration, because they are two different things. Hydration okay. is eternal, internal and moisturized still can be internal, too, but that's not the makeup of your hair. So we use heightening and moisturizing products to put a slip on our hair, condition our hair and keep it pliable and movable and flowing and all that kind of good stuff, because otherwise it's dried up. It's stiff. <laughs> right, girl. Hey, no, I got pictures of that. I got pictures of me when I was little. And you put your hand down and your hand, you put your hand down like this, and my hair would still be sticking straight. <laughs> yeah. Dang, you know, mama, why you didn't put a little grease or salt? They, you know, it was crazy back then. Um, mm -hmm. It was just stiff and heavy. And because they used to, I remember, they used to have blue magic all the way down your hair. Yeah. yeah. I saw your yeah. eyes look, that was <laughs> <laughs> all, all the way down. It's all the way at the ends. Your hair is like, mm -mm, this is heavy as all heck. <laughs> so can you talk to us about the difference? Like you said, really go in. How do we, can you give us like, two or three things that we can do to keep our textured hair moisturized. Okay. So for me, there is like, which with any product line, you should be doing these things, which is cleansing your hair. So one is actually clarif using a clarifying shampoo or a cleansing shampoo, then following up with a moisturizing shampoo. So a lot of times people just either use moisturizing or they're just co-washing, which is totally fine to co-wash your hair. But at some point you need to shampoo. Wash your hair. hair. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> so the cleansing process and then following up with a moisturizer. It's going to make your hair soft again. It's cleansing and removing everything. And conditioning your hair with a conditioner that you comb through, detangle your hair and rinse out. <laughs> and people leave conditioner in their hair and they say, oh, this is, they're using styling products. I'm like, that's not a style. They, and then they wonder why my hair is like, it has, doesn't shine. It doesn't do this because you're leaving conditioner in your hair. Right? right. I know it may feel great and look great in the moment. Over time, you are uh, having product built up in your hair. So the third thing is using a leave in. Sleepings <laughs> are must because they have they serve natural benefits. They detangle help you detangle your hair. They still penetrate in their conditioning, and they a lot of times most of them are heat protectants. Heat protectants. So if you are blow drying or under the dryer or any flat ironing, that becomes a you know, an auto heat protectant. So then using the proper styling aids as well. That's your fourth thing. And your fifth thing is maintaining that route with another product. Oh. So that's five, basically five products that you have to use in maintaining your hair in a healthy way when styling. I, I appreciate that because um, so, so many times we just don't know what to do. 
you know, and we followed, like we said earlier, that YouTube university and this person say, I leave my condition in for a week. I don't, you know, and it's like, uh, I don't, I don't think my hair could do that. Like, I don't, I don't think I could do that, but I love the advice you have given us because y'all heard what she said. It takes a commitment and currency to maintain bomb hair, yeah. right? And you gave us all five, five, six steps on how to, to really maintain it and keep it healthy because the bottom line that we talking about is healthy hair. You want it to be healthy because um, I've seen so many people that use weaves like they're gonna have it for the rest of their life or wigs like they never intend to have their own hair. So they like ball underneath and I get it. I, can, can you talk to us about that? <laughs> I saw yeah. your face. Uh -huh. I saw your face. Yeah, I, I understand you may want to special occasion, you may work out, you may uh, have a big event, whatever you're getting the weave or wig for, um, in that sense, where it's just cosmetic to where you just, I just want a new look, trying something new out. I, I totally, you know, I'm for that. But when it becomes habitual and addictive, to where you're not even taking care of your own self, your own hair, then that's where the follow-up and the, the repair has to happen once you decide to take it off. You know, and a lot of times it's free. And I'm not talking at all about women that have trauma to their hair scalp, hair loss, hair thinning. I'm not talking about these women because I understand they may want to wear something. Right. To make them, you know, to embellish their crown that right. has been mm -hmm. <laughs> crooked mm -hmm. for a minute, you know. So <laughs> I'm not talking about them. I am talking about women who are just simply wearing it for style, which you can. But yeah. in the meantime, and in the interim of getting that done, even braids, get your hair done. Because even though you have braids, and I'm not a braid specialist at all. Right. I don't know how to braid. However... If you're wearing braids two and three months, you for me, and I don't care how they look, you still need to shampoo. <laughs> you still need to shampoo your hair and you still need to moisturize your hair. And people are going all this time without doing anything to their hair scalp. And, and, and they have a lot of, they have a loss because it's going to naturally shed, but they're going to have a loss too because the hair is dried out. And matted to that head. That's why it's like, oh no, I just... I can't do it. I'm like, no, I did protective styles when we was in COVID because I had to be on air and do all this. Right. Um, but it, I was taking them out every four weeks to do my hair. I had my husband was like, you got more hair on your head than the that because I, I was buying crochet because I'm cheap. Run that crochet hair. <laughs> <laughs> so we kept doing that and then finally I was like all right let's just get it locked up and I don't have to take out a wash and do all that detangled every four weeks because yeah. it was it was a lot for me and I was like I'm not mm -hmm. that invested I don't I'm not that committed or the currency I was not I wasn't I wasn't ready for the two C's you understand what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing about what you said was that you took it down regularly oh, to yeah. change your hair and all that kind of good stuff and then went back to it so what a lot of people do they'll take it down wash the hair out blow it out wash it one good time and then go right back to the braid person to get it braided up so they haven't done any maintenance to their hair so that was a good part of what you said you at least took it down conditioned it and all that to, to keep it try to keep it healthy it was, and it grew a lot, like two years. That was like, wow, it really did its thing. But um, again, I, I think it's important. My main thing was my, I had to have my scalp, you know, cleansed and do all that stuff. But what I, when I look at you and, and your body of work and what you're saying to the people listening, that the, the thing is to really be mindful of your hair, right? Like 
you know what I'm saying? Like how we pay attention to all these other things, you know, I, I can't do this or I got to drink my water and I got to, uh, whatever it is, we pay attention to those things and neglect our hair. And I love how you say it's great to wear a wig or weave um, other time, but when it become addictive and habitual, then like, come on, like get your life right. Yeah. <laughs> I may have summarized that for you. You may hey, have not hey. said that exact thing, but. <laughs> but yeah, and you know, no offense to anyone, you know, everyone has their choices. And, you know, some people choose what they want to spend their money on. I've learned that from my clients. I have a client, just a quick story. I had cousins that came to me. And one only came once or twice, and the other one came regularly. She had a corporate job. You know, this is what she did. The other one decided to wear wigs. Mm -hmm. And so they got into a debate themselves, mm -hmm. and she came back and told me. And she said, hey, you know, I consider getting my hair done every two weeks for my uniform, and I budget for this. Mm -hmm. right? The other one, she said, you choose to get your nails done. So that's what you want to do. And you better get a nail done and put a wig on. So you know, that, that person that right now to this day, she has locked her hair. So she doesn't have, <laughs> she's better off having locks than putting these wigs on because it's still her natural hair. You know, she can feel good about it instead of wearing these, I'm not going to say crazy looking wigs, but when you get a wig, you should have it um, protected to you. So it may need to be thinned out, it may need to be cut, it may be. So if you're gonna wear a wig, wear it. You know, so. Girl, that's a whole nother segment we're gonna have to do because <laughs> that, I'm trying not to laugh because that's facts. We've seen the plastic baby doll hair that you get and all that. So I love how you say to make sure it fits you, you your culture, it, you know, like um so that it because you always want to feel your best that's it you want to feel your best and so you know tell us again how we can stay connected with you one more time on instagram call on an angel i am always there <laughs> I you know when you look for some inspiration for bomb hairstyle you can uh look on there you know i'm always traveling and trying to continue my educational journey and bring it to my clients and to the public it's looking for more than just going to get their hairstyle because you have hairstylists you have you have some amazing hairstylists that are educators and willing to take care of their clients hair I just to throw in, I don't understand this having your hair cool or washed going out and all of that before you go get it done that's what are you paying for? Okay, it's like I, I'm paying for labor to and you. not the not. <laughs> I, I I need okay. you to repeat that because that's facts. I was like, well, what you paying for? Say it again. When you have people that I think those are just hairstylists, right? They just style your hair. Like, okay, say it one more time. Well, there is a hairstyling license. There is. There's several different licenses out there. Cosmetology is a full-scale stylist. She can do everything. He can, he can do everything, right? Um, but then there's hairstyling license. There's natural hairstyling license. So they just braid. And so but they all have to learn sanitation. So they all should still be shampooing hair. But people are asking you to come in with your hair already shampooed and blow-dried. And I... I are you giving me a discount for that? Right. Or, yeah, we do that. Charging me three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> right. I did have the job. Right. We do it half job by shampoo and blowing my hair. Yeah. Yes, Especially yes. if they have natural hair. Woo. You know, and it's that's four C or whatever. If it's a challenge for them, if they're tender headed, whatever it may be. Because some people just have two type two hair, right. and it's still a challenge for them because they're not hairstylist or they don't like to comb their hair or whatever it may be 
That's oh. me. I don't want to be messed with my hair. Are you kidding me? That's why I'm paying you, lady. I don't want right. to wash my hair and detangle it. Yeah, that that's awesome. But you know, we on on, on Miss Fit One, and my whole platform is focused, intentional, and transforming. And okay. That's exactly what you do in your field. And I love it. You focus mm -hmm. on people's heads, the health of it. You, you go and get education. You're intentional on what you do, how you read, how you make yourself better. And then you just transform in all of us. Everybody who is listening today is learning something that they did not know. I don't care if you say you know everything about hair. I just <laughs> learned a lot today. Um, yeah. And then... But how, how do you, Angel, take care of yourself? What does your self-care regimen look like? Well, as most people know, hairstylists are the last to take care of themselves, what? their own hair. However, um, I take care of myself. I really love spas, the day spa, the, you know, I like getting massages pampered and all yes. that so that's how I take care of myself um I do go up to the uh, beta institute and allow the students to do my hair so they are able to learn you know I'm critiquing the entire time of course it's learning, <laughs> it's learning. you know I'm trying to, to help them better them better their techniques their craft um, yeah 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 so that's that's my uh investment back into that you know so, but when I get to go, I got to do it myself. I'll go to my friends, a professional stylist. I so. love that. Self care mm -hmm. is important, and I love how you do it. Going to the spas, and I love that as a hairstylist, you still like to get well. You know your hair done. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool because yeah. to get to get sit, I, I'm sure it's a whole different experience sitting in the chair and getting pampered versus, versus doing all the work. You know what I'm saying? Yes, definitely. Thank you definitely. so much. I really appreciate yeah. this. You know, um, and, and before we wrap it up, is it anything else you want to leave and tell the people? Um, just take care of yourselves. Invest in your own mental and physical beauty, right? Um, and it, it just put in the three C's so, so the condition, commitment, and courtesy for some bomb hair. That's all I can say. I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much again. We really appreciate this. You know, you guys go out. Make sure you follow her. Hit her in them DMs. She says the angel is always on call. You heard her. <laughs> call me. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week, you guys, live fit. Don't forget the buzzword. Bye, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miss Fit One Lifestyles. Listen, when you are fed up, and sick and tired of living this stifled, overwhelmed, and overstressed life. And you're ready to live the fullest, richest, and healthiest life by gaining more confidence, more energy, and more clarity. Living in your best self, you know what to do, right? Go ahead, go to my website, misfit1.com. Sign up for our online courses, Creating Healthy Habit, so that you too can live fit, focus, move with intention, and transform your life.